is a group that recorded a number one Motown anthem called Shotgun. They've toured all over the world, one of the most electrifying acts of all time. For the first time at the White Swan Ballroom, give it up for Junior Rogers. Yeah, it's not a lot left. You know, so many of the legends are dying off. Dying off slowly but surely. How do, how do they keep their energy to go out and at least perform? For the love of being in front of the audiences and having such great audiences and the music lives on and on. So the audiences keep regenerating themselves and our music just goes on. And so the, we appreciate the audiences and that gives us all of the, the gumption and energy to come back and do it over and over. My sister, she was, uh, she was highly involved in the early days and Barry Gordy and his brother used to come to my home. And then uh, right behind that, I found out that uh, Eddie Kendricks and Paul Williams from The Temptations had grew up with my uncles in Alabama and they all came up to Detroit together. And so one day they came to my house. And uh, so it was like just a small gathering at my house sitting with my parents. And, uh, uh, and, and I had a, a band playing in the basement. And uh, Eddie Kendricks and Paul came downstairs and they liked what they heard. And so they asked, uh, could I do some things with the Temptations. They wanted to groom some younger musicians and things of that nature. So I ended up uh, getting involved with them and so I ended up going and doing recording. The fact that you played with even Shotgun was part of James Jameson and others. James Jameson, Earl Van Riddle. Dyke, Eddie Willis, uh, Earl Van Dyke, uh, uh, Robert White, uh, all, all of the great members from the Funk Brothers. Now, how did it actually work? Were, did they were given a score to score out and then match up? No, a lot of it they were given ideas, basic ideas, and, and a lot of the writers relied on their musical ability to further that idea and put it together and make it happen. That's why a lot of the credit that uh, wasn't given and came around in later years and credit was given to the Funk Brothers because they carried a lot of the responsibility of helping to make the Motown sound. Did you play with them at all? Did you? Yes, I, I worked with James Jameson, uh, Earl Van Dyke, uh, all, of, all of the guys. I, I worked, had the pleasure of doing sessions with them. Many times uh, Pistol Pete was, was original on most of the, doing the drum work and a lot of the sessions they would need two drummers and they would call, in, call me in and have me come in. And, it was a, a good time. It was a learning experience. That time I was 15 years old and uh, you know they they just took me under their wings and and wanted me to know the real side of the music business. Thus I ran into a Junior Walker and uh, and the whole ball of wax just started rolling. Did things Junior started. Walker have a big reputation at that time or was he still growing up? Just no, he, he didn't have a big you know, he had the, the big hit with Shotgun, and, and uh, it was, that was big, and that set him on, on motion. He was, he was climbing the stairs at that time, but he wasn't as big, uh, as strong as The Temptations or The Four Tops at that time in the latter 60s. But he was very reputable. He had a, a good reputation, and he was able to work pretty steady. What was he like? Because obviously he passed away in 1995 or so. Not, yes. What was he like? Junior was a real down-to-earth guy, very down-to-earth guy. It, you, it would never be anything unusual 
to find Junior out on the, on the street somewhere up under somebody's hood of their car. He was an excellent mechanic, excellent. And he, he would always just find somebody that had a problem with their cars. And he would literally change, have some overalls in his car where he would take off his stage clothes and put on overalls and get up under somebody's hood and lay in the street because he enjoyed working on cars. You know, he's a real down-to-earth guy, real down -to -earth. Now, he, he, he kind of accumulated this group. Was that his group or was he added to a group that became sort of his saxophone? Well, it, it was kind of a combination. It was kind of a combination. He originally had a group that he was with called the Jumping Jacks. Now, that wasn't his group, but he was the, the lead of the group. He was the lead of the group, and he, he kind of, uh, you know, everybody started going off to service. Everybody got uh, drafted and was going to military, and then he went and, and came back and just decided to form his own group, and that's where Junior Walker and the All-Stars began. When did you kind of catch up with that group? Oh, I, I, I started working with Junior Walker probably in 68, or 69 and uh, kind of just floated in and out of each other's lives from that time on just different places different times as as needed I would say and so we worked together considerably and uh, you know it was a, a, had a great time I'm the drummer as well as musical director and I and I guess myself and uh, uh, one more guy that's named Ackley King, who's not here with us tonight because he's ill. We're the, the, the last of the original members of Junior Walker's All-Star Band. And uh, Ackley, he carries the flag and he pulled me into it officially to make me stay so that I wouldn't drift back and forth with everybody else. So I, I, I feel that it's very important for us to carry on the legacy and to, to let uh, younger people know that Junior Walker and the All-Stars was a, a true act, some of the pioneers of this music. And uh, we know we carried a lot of the Motown sound and we crossed a lot of uh, borders over, over the water, England, Europe, all, uh, South Africa, Australia. We've been blessed to, to see all the, the different corners of the world. Tears cry every night for you
is it that you, you end up with? What's the song that's going to knock the socks off everybody? Shotgun? That's it. Ultimately, Shotgun is, 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 is the last of the Mohicans. That's, that's what people like to go home with that in their mind. And as they walk out, they'll all be singing, Shotgun! <laughs> that's exactly it. Thank you for having the little interview with me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Junior Walker and the All-Star.